Hi, this is Pearl and welcome to my channel. I have all these NARS products that I got from Ulta. So if you're interested in seeing the new Climax eyeshadow palette, the Orgasm on the Beach cheek palette, and as well as some of the freebies I got from Ulta, then please keep on watching. Okay, I'm gonna pull my hair back. It's only eight o'clock in the morning and I'm sweating even with the air conditioner on. So I already have my face on. I'm doing a wear test on the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer, the new oil-free one. Let's go ahead and look at this NARS Climax Eyeshadow Palette. So this is what this looks like. I do really enjoy a NARS eyeshadow. The only thing with this is that they're always limited edition. I don't know why they do so many limited editions. Oh, I can't open this with my nails. So it's got this kind of a packaging with the ridges here, like their Climax Mascara. And let's see, it says it's a limited edition eyeshadow with nine smoky shades, perfect for fall and winter, in silky, matte, metallic, and multi-dimensional shades. So it's long-lasting mattes can be wet, worn wet for maximum intensity, and it's got gratifying glow and seductive shine. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. I'm gonna open this up and show you what it looks like. Now, I was so happy to see that NARS did something outside of what they've been releasing, and this is so different from a lot of their releases lately, but doesn't that look gorgeous? So I thought I would go ahead and, let's go ahead and swatch these, okay? Let me, oh, they feel really smooth. This one's a little grittier, but that's okay. So this is open wide, a matte beige, this is Private Show, a matte mauve brown. Ooh, that's pretty. That is Passion Play, a shimmering champagne. Then let's go to the next row. That is Envious, a metallic copper. Ooh, that is Hooked, an antique pewter. I love that dirty green gold. And that one is Next Lever, a shimmering deep brown. Don't these look gorgeous? I really wish they wouldn't do limited edition. Okay, then these three. That one is Up in Smoke, a matte khaki. You guys know how much I love a matte khaki. That one is Public Eye, a matte rich brown. And that one is Night Rhythm, a shimmering slate blue. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful. <clears throat> I can't wait to use that. So let's go ahead and start on my eyes. I already have my face and eyebrows on. And I'll have all of the products that I've got on my face linked down below. Let me bring you, oh, look at me sweating. Oh, I already got shit on my shirt. Let me bring you in closer. I'm gonna go into this shade right here and I'm gonna put that all over my lid. Let's see. Oh, it's a great transition shade for me. I'm trying to decide if I should do two looks or one. The only thing is I'm doing a wear test. Is that gonna look funky? I guess you guys would understand, right? Okay, I'll do two different looks. So let's go ahead and use this as my transition shade. Look at that. It's building up nicely. It's not patching anywhere. Then I'm gonna go into the shade right next to it. I'm gonna use that to kind of deepen out my eye and I'm using the same brush because I wanna bring that a little bit into the crease as well and blend that into the first shade. Then I'm using my Wayne Goss number 17 brush and I'm going to go into this khaki green right here and put that on my outer lid. bring that in just a little bit. I don't want to go as high as I did the second shade, but I do want to blend it out. And these are blending out nicely. I'm not going to be using these wet because I'm fine with the opacity of that color right now. Then I'm going to go into this green color right here. And I'm going to use, I'm using my MAC 242S and I'm going to lightly press that onto my eyelid. Ooh, that is a pretty color. I'm just getting a teeny tiny amount of fallout, not much. Going back in with the dark green right here. Reapply the green a little bit. Going back in with my first brush and blending all that out. 
Ooh, that's pretty. You got then I'm gonna go in with a Way uh, Refer 03 brush, and I'm gonna go into this color right here, and I'm gonna put that on my inner corner and bring that down on my lower lid a little bit and bring it up a little bit. And I only got a little bit of fallout. Okay, there, that wiped away. Then I'm gonna go into, let's see, what brush should I use? Then I'm gonna go into this khaki color and I'm gonna put that on my lower lid and I'm using my Refer 03 brush. I'm going to put that there and then deepen out just the outer lower portion of my upper lid. Okay, whoo. Actually, I wanna put a little more green in so it goes higher up on my crease and then blend that out again. There we go. I used to have the Climax and the Climax Max. Climax, both of the Climax mascaras, and I decluttered those because they would smudge on my eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and just use my Thrive Cosmetics mascara. So I'm gonna tight line my waterline, put on my mascara, and I'll be right back. Okay, there's one eye done. What do you guys think? Okay, let's do the second eye. I really want to use that slate blue. So, let's see. I'm going in with my Wayne Goss 04 brush and I'm gonna go into this middle color right here and use that as my transition shade. Blend that out. Ooh, that's a pretty transition shade, don't you think? Then I'm gonna use a smaller brush. This is my Wayne Goss 19 brush. I love these small brushes for my hooded eyes. I'm gonna go into this color right here and use that on my outer V. Let's see how, oh, these are so pigmented, but they're so easy to blend. Oh, I may have spoken too soon. This is turning out patchy. Let's see if I can make this work. See right there, it's a little patchy. So let's see. That's where a lot of my eyeshadows get patchy, but the really good Formulas, don't do that to me. Oh, I got it to work. Going back in with my first brush. Okay, I'm going in with my Smith. I think this is 253. I'll have it linked down below. And I'm gonna go into this slate blue color and I'm gonna put that all over my lid for a smoky. Oh, look at that fallout right there. Okay, I didn't have that with, maybe I went in too hard. I'm gonna put that on my moving lid. And bring it up, just blend that into my transition shade. Let me see if I can get this off without, oh yeah, it came off really easily. My face is pretty powdered though, so. Then I'm gonna go back into this deep shade right here and blend that in a little bit so we have a little more contrast. There we go. Then I'm going to take a little pencil brush. This is my Refer number 23. I'm using every single brush, in my, aren't I? I'm gonna go into this shimmer shade right here and use that on my lower lash line. And I'm gonna use this as my inner corner highlight again. There's a tiny bit of consistency there. Bring that into my lower lid. Okay, let me tie line my waterline, put on my mascara, and I'll be right back. Okay, that's what my eyes look like. Oh, I got a little bit of mascara right there. Oh, there we go. What do you guys think? I really like this palette. I got a little mascara right there too. That's the thing with my hooded eyes. My eyelashes touch my lids. What do you guys think? Ooh, I love it. I love it. Okay, let me zoom out. I wanted to try this NARS Orgasm cheek palette. I know, I wasn't gonna get it. I said I wasn't gonna get it. Then I saw people using it and I really wanted it. And this is limited edition as well. 
this is what oh this is what it's a reflective oh you can see me there it's a reflective rose gold compact these are the shades these are bake gelée which is really nice so you need to use a stiffer brush usually sometimes if you want to get a better um did I tell you I don't have my words today? Pigmentation on your skin. So let's go ahead and swatch these. I think I can use every single color, so I'm excited about that. But look at how those swatch. Ooh, aren't those pretty? Look at that. And I honestly think I will wear all of these colors. And I'm getting more and more into blush, and I don't have any NARS blush palettes in my collection. I've decluttered them all. I remember when Orgasm first came out, and I got all of my colleagues to go buy it. <laughs> this is when I was in the consulting world, so all of us had a travel kit as well as a at-home kit, because we traveled every week. So those are the swatches for the Nor Orgasm on the beach. Aren't they lovely? Okay, let's try them on my cheeks. I don't have any bronzer or anything on because I just wanted to use this. So I'm gonna use my Sonia G Face 2 brush and let's try this color right here. Which side should I use that on? Oh, my eyes. My mascara is not dried yet, I guess. I wanna try that and see how that works as a bronzer slash blush. So it feels like it doesn't pick up that much and there's no kickback because it is a Bake Gelé formula. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's really pretty. Look at that. Woo! That is pretty. Without, with. Oh, that's gorgeous. So let's try one of these highlighters out. I'm gonna go into this one right here, which is the deeper of the two with this blush and let's try that out I want to see if this is too deep for me uh, it's not too deep for me Ooh, that is pretty and I really like how it blends with the blush isn't that gorgeous see how it takes the tension away from my hyperpigmentation I mean it doesn't erase it at all or just minimizes the look of my hyperpigmentation unless you look close. Okay, let's try another blush. This time I'm going in with my Sonia G Classic Cheek Brush. And which one should we use? Let's try the brighter of, no, let's try this one right here. So that's this tangerine kind of orange color. See how it picks up the products? Oh, this is pretty too. Oh, I can see myself using this. That's gorgeous. Okay, now I want to try the lighter of the highlighters and I'm going in with my Detail Pro brush from Sonia G. So let's go ahead and try this. Oh, that one had a little bit of kick up. Let's pounce that on first to see how it wears. Ooh. This is a pretty color. Oh, this melts into my skin. Oh, yes. That is so pretty. These are gorgeous. Okay, let me put on my bronzer and I'll be back to finish my face. Oh shoot, I forgot I had the high pigment longwear eyeliner from NARS. Mm. I ended up using the Patrick Ta eyeliner, but let's go ahead and take a look at this. I'm gonna swatch this right here on my hand. It's the sharpening pencil. Look at it, it looks like it's sunk in a little bit. Ooh, that is super black. Okay, let me just put this on. I'm gonna put it a little bit on my outer third. Ooh, that is black. I'm gonna have to smudge that out. Ooh, that is really black. Okay, let me get a smudger. This is the Thrive Cosmetic Smudger Brush. I'm just gonna smudge a little bit like that so it's not so stark. Ooh, I hope this wears well. Okay, so there's that. 
Now let's try the two lip products that I got. I got the Lipstick Rouge in Tolade. Tolide? Sorry, I don't know how to say that. But I'll have all these products linked down below. It comes in this bullet case. And this is the color, so let me take off my lip balm. And let's try this on. This looks like a pretty color. I don't think I have any bullet lipsticks from NARS. Ooh, that's a pretty color. Okay, Tolide, Tolide, Tolade. <laughs> okay, so that's that. That's pretty. And then they also sent over the Power Matte Lip Pigment in American Woman. American Woman. Okay, and it comes in this kind of a case. So let's go ahead and swatch this right here. Oh, that's that. Oh, it's a liquid lip. Oh, I forgot to swatch the other one. Tolade, Tolide. So let's swatch this one under here. This is the Tolide, and that's American Woman. So let's try on American Woman. Ooh, this feels like I have nothing on. So thin. This is pretty too. So there you have it, all my NARS products. Let's talk about them now. This Climax eyeshadow palette, I love. Only time will tell if it creases in my eyelids, but other NARS formulas have not done that before, so I'm pretty confident that this is gonna wear well. But look at those two colors. Oh, I think they're gorgeous! And I think they're mature skin friendly because it's not emphasizing the look of my crepey eyelids or anything like that or going into my fine lines and wrinkles. So I think that's good. Only time will tell about this eyeliner. Now I did put it on the outer portion of my eyes. So if this smears, I'll know because the Patrick Ta one does not smear on me at all. This blush palette, <laughs> look at these colors. They're so pretty. I love it. I'm so happy I got this. I would have just purchased this and put this in my collection because I wanted it so bad. Now the two lip colors, I'm surprised. Now this is starting, the American Woman is starting to dry down. Let me bring you in closer. You can see the little lines in my lip. I don't like that. But maybe I should put a glass on it to see how that works. But we'll see how this wears. Okay, so that is my NARS haul and try on. Let me know your thoughts down below. Did you pick up any of these products? Wish it wasn't limited edition. Well, thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Let me know down in the comments below your thoughts on this collection. And I'll see you next time.